Greetings, Warriors of the Ring. My name is Strider656, and I'm thrilled to welcome you back. Uh, this is actually a Loam League game. Um, I want to post all of my Loam Leaks uh, all the time so you can watch to see how they go. If you like Loam, then this is a great video for you. If you don't like Loam, uh, you should you should watch it so you can actually like it. Uh, Loam is an expansion of War of the Ring. Uh, in this game, I'm playing OIML1988. Um, and we start, we're going to play two games, uh, not all in one day. But I decided to take free first. Uh, I decided for my companions, I have Gandalf Narya, and everyone else is normal, except the two hobbits. I have always alternate, uh, because then I can soak a tile potentially to, to get a game winner, which happened with Maester James. So hoping maybe that'll happen today. We'll see. All right, he starts by rolling. Um, he all gets one and rolls pretty decent, and I roll decent. That's a good starting roll. So, um... I see I have Gua here. I'm thinking maybe I should crown Aragorn here. Um, that's a thought that I remember having. But I don't have it. I need one more character to do that. So I think I decided to see if I can get uh, We we Prove the Swifter instead. Uh, but I don't have We Prove the Swifter. So that there goes that idea. He uh, brings Isengard down using his muster, I think. Because I'm like, I, I really want to separate Aragorn. I want to make Aragorn here. It doesn't take my time. I decide to um, draw another card. See if I get it. See, draw another character card. See if I can get. We can prove the Swifter. And I don't draw it. I draw an Ents card. He draws a strategy card. Uh, I decide with Fellowship, uh, and I'm hit six one. Uh, in Loam, this is terrifying. You don't want to get a reveal in the first step, especially with the muster showing, and two characters. You can play two character cards on me right away. And it is drawn I. Uh, so I I swear, and I say forfeit as a joke because I can continue and going. And I go to the Fords of Bruinen. I went to Troll Shaws once like an idiot. Don't do that because then they can push you back, like backwards. Um, you can't push you backwards with cool weather at Fords of Bruinen. All right. Um, he brings the Chief in. I flip the Fellowship. And he doesn't play a character, I'm surprised. He just moves the Burger guys to Gorgoroth. I decide, I think for a while, I decide to um, just muster the Elves down. And he decides to move Gorgoroth to Moranin. So that's turn one. Not feeling too good. Um, but at least Gandalf didn't roll an eye. I try Athelus and Swords and Eriador. Fellowship okay. Allocate one. He allocates one. Rolls one more. Rolls lots of Palantirs. Uh, he'll have three attacks. And I roll lots of Wills of the West. So I'm thinking maybe I can get Aragorn this turn. I could do. We proved the Swifter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Move one, two, three, crown, and then uh, move, and, and that's what I could do. Uh, but I do math wrong, and I move the fellowship. So that's what, that's what I was thinking. Now rewatching, I uh, rolls one, two, and a two he misses. Now please give it to us so we can cycle his cards. I play Gua here, and I realize that I'm wrong with my math, and Strider decides to leave and does a back step back into the fellowship. Uh, and I decide instead to um, move the Fellowship again with my Will of the West. He hits. The reason I'm moving so aggressively uh, is because I don't want him to continue to cycle cards on me. And if I get hit and revealed, that, that even though it's in Mordor, it sucks, it'll be hard to move the Chief in. He does reveal me with the zero reveal. I go straight to Moria, and I draw a one, which I take. Not enough to lose uh, Gandalf. He brings Saruman in. I decide to um, bring the elves down one more time. With the anticipation that he'll bring the Balrog in eventually and bring them to war for me. To maybe negate that idea. And he decides to use the voice just to bring a regular into each area. So with the Fellowship, he plays Race of Dunnanlings. It's everyone to gap, which just shows me he's probably going to go Rohan early. Nothing I can really do. He attacked Fords. Um, this is another stupid play coming up by me. Uh, what card would you play here? Probably Scouts, right? Maybe Adventure's position. You know what I play? Nothing. Um, so he gets his hits. He would have um, gotten one otherwise if I played like Adventure's position. And he gets zero if I had um, 
moved into Helm's Deep. But instead, I just don't even play a card. Now I play Swords in Eriador. Bring in Elite, and I draw into um, Immortal of Lamroth, which is decent. He plays Half Orcs and Goblin Men on Fours of Eisen. And now we go to turn three. This is where I realize, I look at my cards, and I'm like, why do I have a Scouts in hand? And I get audibly upset in the chat. I say, oh, F, I didn't see a card I had. Oh, well. I go to Gua here. I'm not going to play it. And I go to Scouts, because I failed to play that. Uh, so I had to let him know that I had a bad card. Fellowship OK allocates two, rolls one more. And I roll this. Look at that roll. This is I, I go to Venting after this one. Move the Fellowship. I'm hit. And Smeagol comes out, and that's where I vent, because I was trying to lose uh, Gandalf. But Smeagol uh, is lost. Not even lose Smeagol. No, sorry, not even lose Gandalf. Just move and start and get his die back next turn. No, I can't. So I go vent, turn three, and it's in the venting channel. You can see it there. What does he do? Uh, he thinks, and attacks Helm Steep. I go under siege. Uh, Rohan moves down. I give a ring move again. Hoping to get hit, because if I move again and I lose that ass, um, then I'm able to get Gandalf next round. Also, he'll be able to get the Balrog on me for draws. And he totally misses, all fours. I mean, you could be happy about that, but I'm not. Text Helm's Deep, no card. Um, I don't play a card. What am I going to... That it, It's not going to happen. He gets his hit. And I get a hit back. So there goes Helm's Deep. And Rohan is at war. He moves all of his guys um, to Westamnet. And moves these six from Day Rage and Lings onto Orthanc to protect him. I do have Ents. Two of them in hand. I play Super Mario Dual Amaroth. The moment I'm going to play. He gives me a ring to attack Edoras. Um, and now I, I play. I, I meant to play um, Daylight, I think. Uh, that's what I play. No, I play Ents card, sorry. Um, which which gets two extra hits if you get a hit. Uh, the game is glitched from here on, guys. So you're going to see the Great Company card. So I'm going to discard that myself. Um, so I do get a hit. He gets nothing. Oh, District Battle is, is in play. Uh, so he ends up getting uh, two. And I get uh, three back. And I run away into um fords questioning if he's thinking of the same thing that um Iteraldi was trying to do which is take uh rohan out before kiondor is aware could be um i decide to draw a strategy card i draw spirit of mordor i'm gonna actually get rid of this card it won't glitch it i, I watched this before to make sure it didn't it worked um he brings the balrog in uh he says he will drop i declare i said yep yeah. Uh, then I draw into um, a strategy card, and I get Thrindwell. He brings, uh, he does the regular voice to muster two more elites in Orthanc. Probably scared of um, Ents, which I do have. So I think I get rid of my Ents card here, because I realize that there's no reason to even go for it. He's protecting, and there's no more use for Ents in this game. Uh, so I discard, um, I draw Colorborn and Bilbo. And I go to Ents. I declare the fellowship. Maybe maybe I'll draw an eye to kill the Balrog. I just draw one reveal. And um, he tells me to draw the reveal, so I do. That might be a rules error. Please correct me if it's wrong. But again, it's been a long time since I played this one. All right, he rolls four eyes. And I roll uh, two characters. No Will of the West here. A um, muster and a hybrid. Some of the fellowship right away. I'm hit. It's an eye. I decide to lose Smeagol here. And I put Strider as the guy. My intention is to hide and then play Athelus. Something I'm thinking about. So there's Morgul Wound on me. Ugh. If I had the fellowship, good job by the way. I put the Balrog of Moria. So the Balrog is ready to put some action. I pass. He decides to attack Fold, no card. And now I play uh, Scouts to get out of there. 
Um, that'll make it so that that achievement is no longer manageable because I did get into Gondor. All right, I decided to bring Elrond in because the Balrog came and it didn't move the elves to war. He says, uh, sorry, it's not a war. I said, the elves are. He says, sure. Smiley face, sorry. I said, it's okay. Then we move Sauron to war. I pass. Uh, he decides to move the Balrog. There he goes. And he's right, he's close to them and moves the, the chief onto me. I play Athelus now. And I roll 656. Six, and I say, Strider. 656. Six. So I laugh at myself. All right, so I'm bound down to two corruption. He plays new power is rising. And he's actually out of troops. That's all the Sauron um, Isengard units. All right. Next turn, I draw into Elven Cloaks and help unlooked for. Fellowship's okay. Allocates one eye, rolls two more. And he has a pretty bad roll. My roll is not much better. Unless I was going for military victory, which I'm not. Um, so if you see, I have... He has all musters. And... Um, I have all hybrids, so we'll see what happens. So I have fun with that roll. Uh, he lets me guide change, which I appreciate because I just roll right away. But as my intention was as soon as um, Strider was finished with his ability of um, using that card, I was going to switch back anyway. So let me do it. I didn't move yet. With the Fellowship, um, I, I remind him that when you do the when you do the dice refresh, that's when you out, you figure out what die you get. Gandalf. Because he wasn't the guy at the end of last turn. Um, you don't get his. Let me just connect. Uh, let me make sure. Is this working? Yep. I want to just make sure. I, I clicked on something. All right. We just connect. We roll for the hunt. He hits. Hits a two reveal. There goes Gandalf. And we go into Western uh, Emin Muil. He moves the Balrog and the Chief onto me. I decided to move the fellowship using the card draw because what else, I'm not I can't draw a card anyway. Um, by the way, he and he moved um, some Nazgul around onto Moranin as well. He plays gates are closed and draws a card. I play Celeborn's Caladrim, and I draw into every little as a gain. He brings seven Easterlings down. I pass. They're at war. I pass. He brings his Gothmog in. Um, I play every little as a game, and I draw power to great. Uh, he brings e monsters and elite numbar. I decide to use my hybrid to move the guy from from Blamden into um, Dol Amroth, and I move one guy from his Gilead, uh to Druidane Forest. He draws a character card. All right, next turn. Uh, Gandalf's die is going to go bye-bye. All right. Uh, so I draw right as a Thade and an Ents. I'm going to get rid of my Ents card now. Uh, what else do I get rid of? I don't know. It's a hard one. I want to keep my my draws. Maybe right as a Thade and I get rid of Ents and Last Battle. Because right as a Thade and might come into play. Last Battle will not. Bloodship's okay. Uh, allocates an I. Rolls uh, one more, gets a fine roll, um, and my roll is not awful, but I do have my will of the West, which is good. He decides to not use the Balrog die, and instead use the Gothmog. All right, uh, so I decide to bring Gandalf not into Fangorn because there's no point, and I bring him to Lorien to protect he it. Precisely what he means. He uses the Gothmog die to move the guys from um, Farharad to Nirharad and uh, Morin and out. I decide to bring Galadriel in to block an eye, possibly. He decides then for it to bring another elite into Umbar and with a fellowship. I'm thinking I could make it to Mortar this turn if I use Elrond's ring. Um, and I am able to also use Galadriel's ring as an actual ring, but not her ability. He does hit right away. Draws a three. Take a random. That's Gimli. So I take one corruption. Give him um, Elrond right away so I can take that back. With the fellowship again. 
he hits with sixes and draws an eye. See how lucky this game is? You see why I vented? So I'm feeling pretty good with my choices here. Go to North Athelion. Um, I take the Corruption. Uh, and he draws for Balrog, which is a zero reveal. Not bad. All right, and he moves uh, from Narfarharad, Niharad to West Herondor, leaving one back and uh, all the guys to Umbar. So he doesn't have Corsairs. I decide to flip the Fellowship using the um, the Palantir, because I could always muster in Gondor to help me out if I changed my mind into what I'm about to do here. He moves the Balrog onto me, and the Chief... Uh, I don't think the Chief is on me. Yeah, the Chief is on me. The Chief and the Balrog are on me. Gothmog and the rest of the Nazgul go to um, West Herondor. I decide, uh, what am I waiting for? I'm just going to move the Fellowship anyway. Um, and he misses. His reroll is a hit, and it's a two. And I think about losing Strider here uh, because I want to get down. I don't want to lose those hobbits. But I decide to take a random, and I draw, and then really nervous. I'm like, please don't draw a hobbit. He draws Legolas. Perfect. I say better. Then he plays Cruel Weather, and I say worse. <laughs> so now I move back. I tell him to draw for the Witch King. I don't know if supposed to draw for the Balrog here. It wasn't a reveal or a declare. Um, if you think this is wrong, please mention it in the comments. Say this is probably a mistake. I text Polar here, playing um, Mumakil. I do no card. He ends up getting uh, two hits. I get zero back. And uh, Gondor is at war. Texas Gilead. I have no card to play. I mean, I could, I could play Daylight No Quarter, because I'm going to lose some cards uh, into the next turn. Um, he, gets, he gets his hit. I get a hit back. All right. So now we're in Mordor. So I draw through Day and a Night and Heroic Death. Heroic Death is definitely going. Uh, I think I get rid of Riders, or no help one look for. Uh, Eagles are coming, and help one look for. Go away. Flush up okay. He allocates two, rolls one more. Um, well, I'm not in Mordor yet. I thought I was in Mordor. Not in Mordor yet. Um, so I decided to move the Fellowship first before I have to deal with um, the Balrog or the Chief. Uh, he misses. Uh, he attacks Minas Tirith using the Balrog die. I forgot to muster, so I say, whoops. I decided to go to the gates that are closed with the Will of the West. He thinks for a while, decides to play Nazgul Strike, see if he can hunt the Fellowship while moving his Nazgul around. He just moves the Witch King. Um, so he's just rolling for the hunt. Uh, it's 4 one 2 it's miss. Rerolls a miss. So it's safe. I pass. Now he plays Candle of Corpses on me to cycle. Not happy to see this card. It's a devastating one. Thankfully, only just one hit. I play Elven Cloaks with that in the pool, because I'm definitely getting to Mordor this time. Text me as Tirith, uh, playing a strategy card. I'm going to play cards now for sure. Um, oh, I guess not. <laughs> no card. Um, he gets uh, four hits, and I get uh, four back. Because I don't see this battle going well. Uh, I'm going to defend um, in Lorien. I'm going to defend in um, Dol Amroth. That's my plan. I'm going to save my cards for that. There's no card. I would play Confusion now. He hits himself once and gets his kill, and I hit him back, so I get two. Uh, now I put Thrandil's Archers in to draw into King Brands. Could be helpful later. We'll see. Babe. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. So he decides to move um, his guys from... Isengard is moving out, so I'm thinking maybe he's going towards Lorien. Then he's going to condense his forces. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe the shadow lengthens or something if he puts them in East of Net. I play Power Too Great because I think it's a great time to do it. Uh, he moves the guys to West of Net and they go down to Skillian. He thinks where to put them. I just said to move the Fellowship again. My thoughts are I don't want to deal with going through the Balrog and drawing and losing Aragorn. Or, or Strider to an eye. Uh, and if I go one, two, three, I can ignore him altogether. 
Um, he says, is this necessary? I say, yeah, it is. So I decided to do it, and he misses. All fours. Barely. Uh, he exchanges the Witch King. And that brings everyone to active. Um, Because I was worried he was going to actually um, give a ring to move the Balrog onto me, but he didn't. So, so I'm in Mordor now. I draw Path of the Woeses, three rings for the Elven Kings. I say avoiding that ass, so now I'm in the in uh, Mordor. He allocates two eyes, rolls one more, and rolls a bunch of musters, so he's not doing a lot of attacks this turn. He does have uh, my rings, though. I could always try to get him back. And I roll this, but I'm not gonna, I need to move. That's what I'm thinking. I gotta move, and I don't have a Palantir. Um, so I move the Fellowship. Let's look at the Hunt Pool. All right, so you can see it. And I, I draw Elven Cloaks. Very lucky. Happy about that. He decides to bring the mouth into Minas Morgul. Brings the regular mouth in. With the Fellowship again. This time I draw as a one reveal. I take it. He plays Lure of the Ring. I'm worried he's going to pull um, Strider. But if he pulls Strider, I can just lose him. But I can't hide the Fellowship if that happens. He draws Pippin. I don't want to lose him. That's my plan is to cancel a tile later. So I take the Corruption. Normally you'd kill your Hobbit. I flip the Fellowship using my card draw. Um, he moves the guys from um, Skillia to Pelark. He's going, definitely going after uh, Wood, uh, Laura, oh, okay, I'm, I can't talk. Uh, Dolamroth. And moves these guys uh, here this way. So as he didn't go around. And now I decide to muster a regular into Lambden and a leader into, into Dolamroth. And I'm seeing he's going this way. He attacks Lambden, no card. Uh, he hits me. I don't hit back. Now I'm going to muster just an elite to put more hit points in there. Uh, now he attack. He flips the mouth, and he attacks DA. And I go under siege. And uh, I decide to muster. I thought about attacking Pillar here with that single guy. I thought it would be funny. But I decide not to. I decided instead it's to muster up. And he uses a ring. Uh, to play Black Captain Commands to try to take Delamroth out here. I want to play cards for sure here. Uh, I do have Sudden Strike. I can play Daylight, Shield Wall, all good cards. All right, so I see strategy, so I'm going to play um, Daylight. And he plays Deadly Strife. He gets three, and I get four back. I don't know why I reroll two. There we go. So it's four to, four to five here. He's going to press. So I'm going to play a shield wall to protect myself so that I can live, or a sudden strike. I see a character card, so then I think I play um, sudden strike, because I'm worried it could be uh, that, Dread and Despair. My pre is a one. He forfeits three and gets two. Uh, so we survive this round. All right, uh, next turn. It's turn nine. I draw his guards to the little challenge with the king. Guards is late. All right, he allocates an eye, two eyes, and rolls one more. And I roll, um, pretty good roll. I get rid of the Galadriel die, or the Elrond die, and I use Galadriels here. So I flip the Fellowship. I move the Fellowship, sorry, to start. And I draw one, which I'm going to take. But I'm worried, because if he draw, if he plays, um, what's it called? Isidore's Bane and draws a three, he could win. But he attacks D, I'm happy to see that. I don't really care anymore about the, these battles. I play Challenge of the King anyway. Uh, my pre gets one. And my combat, his combat kills him. And I get two back. So he draws. I decide to move the Fellowship. Draws an eye. Uh, and that's going to be four damage. I can't afford to take a random. Because I could, I could just outright die. Uh, so Strider can't hide anymore um so i take him and then i take the corruption and now i think he now i think he thinks i i can't do anything about this he's gonna win easily he needs two more points but i do have three rings uh so he moves the guys from warrior to mount door so he's going for uh the shire and for dale here i flip the fellowship he starts moving out I play three rings. I need to get a five or a six. And I roll a six in the last die. 
So now I have a chance of winning. With the mouth to move them. He can use a ring next to attack. Or he can move, he can move his um, leadership around. Attack, and then use a ring to do his final attack. Let's look at the, um, the hunt pool here. All right. So he probably thinks if he draw that anything actually everyone everything wins for me, um, except for the one reveal. So it's one two three four five six seven one out of seven chance I lose, and we'll see what happens. I forget I vented at the beginning with the fellowship and I draw a three. So uh, that's a vent gone bad, um, but it's a win. So very excited. It's my one of my first wins uh, for the uh, the Lord, Lords of Middle Earth this year. Uh, the other games I played, I think I've lost almost all of them. So this is my one of my first league wins for this. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you OIML for playing. Let's look at the stats. I felt like I was under... He was plus two on sixes. I was plus three on sixes and plus one on fives apparently. Didn't feel like that. Uh, but I wanted you to see the stats though. For one reason. I want you to look at my movement. Didn't get a lot of it. I was actually down on movement. So it was good use of rings this game. Good thing I went through Moria. Alright guys, thanks for watching. And uh, see you in the next one. Uh, take care. And bye.